Village Voice art critic Martha Schwendener reviewed the Pictures Generation exhibit at the Met. Cirque TV and other members of the press were there. We followed the curator on a tour of the exhibit. Um, part of what I've been working on since the late 90s in the Department of Photographs and working in contemporary photography was a way for us to tell the story of how photography since the 1960s has gradually become integrated into the sort of mainstream of contemporary art. We had also been acquiring works by such artists as Louise Lawler, Richard Prince, Jack Goldstein, Sherry Levine, Robert Longo, and Troy Brontuck. They were really uh, a group of artists that were born in the late 40s and early 50s mostly. So they were a baby boom generation that, that was raised in that moment of the expansion of consumer culture and media culture that we live in this sort of, um, it was the first inklings of where we are now. And so what those artists had to themselves was images. They were surrounded by images. And there was this entire sort of shadow world as represented by photography uh, that stood in between us and the world. And that idea that images had come to usurp reality and that artists were no longer bound to a particular medium, but they were focused on the psychological, rhetorical, and social power of imagery was laid out in, in Crimp's um, landmark exhibition. And um, at that time, appropriation, which is now the buzzword that, that we've all come to know, uh, artists were talking about it, but it didn't have that term until a couple of years after the picture show. So in the final gallery, the final two galleries. We see the, uh, the fruition of uh, this sort of division between artists who were returning to traditional media in a variety of ways and yet incorporating appropriated imagery. So behind you, this wonderful Michael Zwack uh, painting uh, called The Last Great Performance, which is just uh, all pigment done with just the rubbing his hand on the, on the surface of the paper. I think the show feels fairly democratic going throughout the exhibition, like the, uh, the better known artists and people that I think were really ripe for, for um, reconsideration. And so it was really um, this group of artists that was, and still is, of most interest to me but also these artists had each other. I mean, there was really, their audience was each other. 